In cloud computing, encryption algorithms play an essential role in providing secure communication through connected and distributed resources. They primarily convert the data into a scrambled type to protect by using the key, and transmitter users only have the key to decrypt the data. There are mainly two types of key encryption techniques used in security algorithms today, symmetric key encryption and asymmetric key encryption. Symmetric key encryption uses a single key to encrypt and decrypt the data. In contrast, asymmetric key encryption uses two keys as public key for encryption and a private key for decryption. There are several techniques used to create better data security in cloud storage and ensure secure communication. Encryption techniques convert message or plain text into cipher text, and decryption techniques extract the original message or plain text into the same cipher text. We will look at the top 10 cloud security algorithms designed to provide better and secure data security in the cloud. RSA is a public key algorithm that provides security by encrypting and decrypting the data so that only authorized users can access it. RSA stands for Ron Rivest, Adi Shamir, and Len Adelman, who first described it in 1977. The data is encrypted, and the ciphertext is then stored onto the cloud. When a user needs the data, the user places a request to the cloud provider, then authorizes the user and provides him the data. Third party can detect cloud service provider misbehavior with a certain probability by asking for proof for a constant number of blocks independent of the total number of file blocks. For every message block is mapped to an integer value. RSA algorithm consists of public key and private key. The public key is known to all cloud users, whereas private key is known only to the user who initially owns the data. The cloud service provider performs encryption, and the cloud user customer performs decryption. Once the data is encrypted with the public key, it can be decrypted with the corresponding private key. Blowfish Algorithm One of the most common public algorithms provided by Bruce Schneier, Blowfish Algorithm, is a symmetric key algorithm, which functions almost like this algorithm, in which the key is small and can be decrypted easily. However, in the Blowfish algorithm, the size of the key is massive, and it can differ from 32 to 448 bits. Blowfish also consists of 16 rounds and can encrypt data having multiple sizes of 8, and if the size of the message is not multiple of 8, then bits are protected. In the Blowfish algorithm also, 64 bits of plain text is separated into two parts of the message as size 32 bits length. One part acquires as the left part of the message, and another one is the right part of the message. The left part of the message is XOR with the elements of the P, array which creates some value, after that value is transmitted through transformation function F. The value initiated from function is again processed XOR with the other half of the message IE, with right bits, after that F vertical bar function is called which replace the left half of the message and P vertical bar replace the right side of the message. Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange D. H. Whitfield Diffie and Martin Hellman discovered Diffie-Hellman Key Algorithm Substitute. It is a technique for exchanging securely by using cryptographic keys over a public network and was the primary specific sample of public key cryptography. It enables only two users to exchange a secret key over an untrusted network. These two users do not need any prior knowledge about secrets sharing information between them. It is predicated on the complexity of computing discrete logarithms of massive prime numbers. It needs two large numbers, one prime, p and another is, g, a primitive root of p. The algorithm was discovered by Neil Copeland's, University of Washington, and Victor Miller, IBM, in 1985. It is a public key encryption technique that depends upon discrete algorithms, which is utilized to create efficient, quicker, and smaller cryptographic keys. Elliptic Curve Public Key Cryptography ECC, is an innovative approach based on the algebraic structure of elliptic curves over finite fields with low key size. The ECC deals with two points, x, y, which satisfies the equation y2 equals x3 plus x plus p with some condition, 4a3 plus 27b2 equals 0, by sharing the secret key. The points that lie on the curve operate as a public key and random numbers are used as private key encryption. 
ECC is used in some integer factorization algorithms that have applications in cryptography. The Data Cryptography Standard BES, is a symmetric key block cipher discovered as FIPS 46 within the Federal Register in January 1977 by the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST. In encryption site, this takes a 64-bit plain text and creates a 64-bit cipher text. After that the decryption site, it takes a 64-bit cipher text and creates a 64-bit plain text. Each encryption and decryption technique is used for the same 56-bit cipher key. The encryption process is made of two permutations, P-boxes, that we tend to call initial and final permutation, and 16 Feistel rounds, 17. Each round transmits a different 48-bit round key generated from the cipher key encryption. Is an asymmetric key encryption algorithm for performing public key cryptography, which is based on the Diffie-Hellman key exchange process by using cryptography. Tahe Rail Gardmal illustrated it in 1984. Elgemal encryption is protected in the free GNU Privacy Guard software, latest versions of PGP, and other crypto systems. The digital signature algorithm is detailed about a variant of the El Jamal signature scheme, which should not be confused with El Jamal encryption. El Jamal encryption can be described over any cyclic group G. Its security is based on the difficulty of a certain issue in G related to computing discrete logarithm. Advanced encryption standard is the new encryption suggested by NIST nice to replace this. ICE comprises three cipher blocks, ICE 128, ICE 192, and ICE 256. ICE 128 uses a 128-bit key length to encrypt and decrypt a message block, while ICE 192 uses a 192-bit key length, and ICE 256 a 256-bit key length for encrypting and decrypting messages. Each cipher encrypts and decrypts data in 128-bit blocks, using 128, 192, and 256-bit cryptographic keys. Symmetric, also known as a secret key, ciphers use the same key for encryption and decryption, so both sender and receiver have to know the same secret key, and use it dash. Top secret information requires either key lengths of 192 or 256 bits. 10 rounds are available for 128-bit keys, 12 rounds for 192-bit keys, and 14 rounds for a 256-bit key. A round consists of several processing steps involving the substitution, transposition, and mixing of the plain text input to transform it into the final cipher text output. The Digital Signature Algorithm DSA, refers to a digital signature standard. The National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, introduced it in 1991 as a better method for creating digital signatures. Along with RSA, DSA is considered one of today's most preferred algorithms for digital signatures. DSA does not encrypt message digests using a private key or decrypt message digests using the public key. Rather, it uses unique mathematical functions to create a digital signature consisting of two 160-bit numbers originating from digests of the message on the private key. DSAs use the public key to authenticate the signature, but when compared with RSA, the authentication process is more complicated. 3 days is based on the DACE algorithm. Making use of triple this is very easy to modify existing software. It also has the advantage of proven reliability and a longer key length that eliminates many of the attacks that can be used to reduce the time it takes to break this. It takes three 64-bit keys, for a total 192-bit key length. In stealth, you type in the entire 192-bit, 24 characters, key rather than entering each of the three keys individually. The triple dace DLL then breaks the user-provided key into three SU keys, padding the keys if necessary, so they are each 64 bits long. The procedure for encryption is the same as regular days, but it is repeated three times, hence the name triple days. Message Digest Algorithm 5, MD5, is a cryptographic hash algorithm that can be used from an arbitrary length string to create a 128-bit string value. Though insecurities with MD5 have been identified, it is still widely used. MD5 is most commonly used for checking file integrity. 
It's also used in other security protocols and applications like SSH, SSL, and IPsec. However, some applications reinforce the MD5 algorithm by adding a salt value to the plain text, or by applying multiple hash functions. Thank you for watching here you can know more industry updates. For regular updates subscribe this channel and press bell icon. Leave your opinion about this video by your question. Your question motivate us for next part. Be technical, think technical.